Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a great and wonderful day. Well, I don't know about that Tippy A hanger person we were talking. Uh, I was talking about a, a couple a day ago. Well, yeah, she's back at it again. Well, again, what I mean by back at it, she's um, uh, yeah, kind of ordered a shooting on somebody, try to attempt to kill somebody. Yeah, very great. Um, it seems like Illinois is full of very corrupt people, specifically Tiffany A. Hanyard or their so-called mayor. So I am very concerned about um, who, why they're letting these people just roam the, the state of Illinois. It's, it's quite baffling, baffling really. So uh, we're going to get into this. Uh, a critic of Illinois mayor, Tiffany Hanyard, believes embattled poll ordered shooting at her home. Um, yeah, that is true. Um, this is, uh, seems to be, uh, obviously an allegation. Um, she is saying that this happened. Um, there is not definitive proof, but I'm gonna really start to believe her, considering we have an actual video here of, um, of hearing gunshots, and then all of a sudden a guy peeling out, um, and after the gunshots were spread into her home. So, um, without further ado, um, let's show you that video. Yeah, so that is looking pretty suspicious. Now, obviously, this can be a video of any place. So, um, yeah, but this is what is alleged. This is what um, the critic is saying. So, without further ado, let's go further into the article. Uh, a vocal critic of embattled Mayor Tiffany H uh, Henyard believes her home was sprayed with bullets at the behest of the official during a bitter feud between, between, between them last summer. Two cars belonging to tenants of former village of Dalton trustee Verlera Stubbs, a retired member of the Cook County Sheriff's Office, were riddled with at least nine shots last July. The rage she believes stemmed from her public attacks on Henyard, who has been accused of plundering the debt red in Illinois town's coffers to pay for lavish travel, dinners, and personal indulgences. Asked if she believes Henyard 40 was behind the shooting, Stubbs didn't hesitate. Absolutely, she told the Post. Stubbs said Henyard was personally menaced her at her home several times prior to the incident, the first during a snowstorm last winter. So, yeah, so apparently what ends up happening is that this psychopath um, uh, mayor, this lunatic mayor, this criminal mayor, and no, I'm not talking about her actual a mayor criminal record that's currently right now. I'm talking about her this right here, where... Uh, uh, Tiffany A. Henyard is an actual criminal. She was a criminal previously before, so she's just continuing her criminal activities, increasing that rack sheet. So, you know, there is that. And she also seems to have gone to um, Valeria Stubbs' house at least once um, to berate her and attack her. And since when did this, when, since when, since this did not actually work, uh, she goes on to do what you see in the video there to have her that's it, um, allegedly assassinated, or killed, or whatever, whatever you want to use this. At the time, Stubbs had accused the mayor of hiring a registered sex offender as a village code enforcement officer, and publicly demanded he be removed from his position. Henyard and her team did not respond to calls for comment on the post Monday, and I'm going to show you this clip of, um... Her doing just that. Yes, that's right, guys. This woman did not just do all the other crimes that was mentioned here or that I said that she has done. No, she has also um, hired a sex offender. And it's, uh, I, I covered this uh, before on my on my um on my channel. However, there's a lot of new people here and some of them were asking questions from my last video and I want to answer some of those questions here. So without further ado, here's the clip. Protest outside Village Hall today, furious after a Fox 32 investigation found this registered child sex offender on the public payroll. A sex offender, you don't give them carte blanche to go into different people homes. 
46-year-old Lavelle Redman is close friends with Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who in September hired Redman as a code enforcement officer without the village board's approval. Redman served 25 years in prison for the brutal gang rape and beating of two young teenage girls in the 1990s and was arrested and charged after our first story aired for violating the reporting requirements of the sex offender registry. Yeah, yeah, a real great woman, right? It seems that uh, this woman has, uh, it's, it's just beyond criminal. She needs to be arrested. Uh, it goes on to say here that uh, soon after Henry posted a bizarre video of herself personally shoving snow from Stubbs' driveway, this is what it looks like when you pull up on your haters. A smiling Henry states, guess what? I am there for all my haters. It doesn't matter because I am the mayor of all of Dalton, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and even the hateful. Clearly confused, Stubbs emerges from her home and appears briefly on camera. Hingard, she said, told the other she had to call the village to have the sh snow, clear, snow cleared. I never called her to come, she explained. She was just harassing me. I went to the next board meeting and told her to stop lying. Several months later, after an unsuccessful recall, Effort Stubbs, who helped to organize Hingard again, came to her property with an intimidating caravan of police and city workers. The retired deputy said, I was at home and they rang all the doorbells of me and my tenants, asking where I was. She said, they called me and told me where they were all these people outside. I called Hingard, but she didn't answer. Subs again went to board a meeting to confront the mayor during a public com comment session. I wanted on record that this woman was coming to my house and harassing me, she said. I told her not to come to my house again under any circumstances. Two months later, Stubbs woke up around 6.30 a.m. to a barrage of gunshots. She went outside and comforted a sh shaking bystander that had been waiting for the bus nearby at the time. Stubbs later went to the back of her home and saw two of her tenants cars strapped with bullet holes and shell casings on the ground. A video recorded by a neighbor's do uh, doorbell camera uh, captured the shots and showed two men running from the scene, jumping in a car while, uh, while in a white car and screeching off. The video that I showed you there uh, uh, not too long ago. Stubbs said she believes Henry was behind the incident. She reported the shooting to local police but said the department is stalked with the mayor's allies. They refused to give me the police report, she said, and I haven't heard anything since. We don't trust the police here. Yes. So, uh, for some of the people that were asking, what are the police doing? Well, the police are under uh, Tiffany A. May, uh, uh, a. Hanyard's uh, rule. Um, she is um, organizing, uh, uh, allegedly, uh, murder attempts, and um, the police will not help you if she is against you. Yeah, that's right. So, if you need help, and the police, and you are against Tiffany Hanyard, or you've done anything such as, oh, I don't know, maybe don't serve, uh, serve her tennis food, or her enemy's food, or whatever, uh, and you need help, the police will not come and help you. Yes, that is the reality of this, of this absolute madman criminal, and she just needs immediately to be arrested. That, that's what needs to happen. The residents of the neighborhood are so afraid they now tell each other where they are going to go, where they are going for outings and notify neighbors when they get home. Stubbs said, "Hanger, a failed bur burger joint owner, has has burst into the spotlight for her antics as mayor, including dressing as fictional drug kingpin Nino Brown for the 1901 crime classic New Jack City during a board meeting and having a DJ blast Rihanna. Bitch, better have my money during the proceeding." Yes, yes, this is the type of person we're dealing with, guys. This. This psychotic individual, this criminal, yes, she sounds very, um, very great. Uh, critics assert that she is running a field of fear, pulling licenses from businesses who refuse to con contribute to her coffers, and losing the local law enforcement as personal intimidation force. Thanks in part to Hanger's spending habits, the town of 20000 is now millions of dollars in debt. The management is so bad, some said Dalton police cruises are on the verge of being repossessed due to non-payments. Stubbs said she now watches her back around town and is hoping the pleas for help from the struggling village will at some point be heard. I just want to see justice done, Stubbs said. Yes. So that's what's going on. And she is obviously uh, did things that would um, be a problem for the average uh, for the average person here. And um, she is also, you know, where she has come done is that she... Uh, was going to be recalled. As you can see here, she was going to be recalled, and that was stopped by a judge. So, that being said, that's not really good. 
So, um, so uh, the judge is in it. The whole uh, there is a whole bunch of bad actors in this area because they are aligning with giving a hand either through fear or massive pavement. And this is a massive problem for the Dalton for the Dalton people. This war criminal, this person. Why well, that's we're not war criminal, but this criminal, this authoritarian, this communist uh, needs to be arrested. This. It's a complete asinine on how this person is still in power, and I don't see how she can still be in power after all these horrible accusations and the thing that she's doing to the Dalton people, <coughs> among many other things. So, yeah, it's insane. Um, so, there you guys have it. That is the news. There's still a lot more information with her as well. Monday, coming Monday, I will give more information about this psychopath here, this criminal. So, um, please bear in mind, I'm working my best, but I'm trying to do um, each video individually, so that way you guys have videos to watch instead of watching a whole video about the whole thing. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let's try to share. As always, take care. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.